All right, what's going on, you guys? This is Erica's for the win, formerly known as Anticipating Scalebound for the Xbox One. That is no more because it's officially been canceled. I'm going to go ahead and show off my article here for you guys <laughs> as the source. But of course, I took from other sources. This is a done deal, you guys. It's a wrap. No more scale bound, and it's very disappointing. I'll get to my feelings on it in a minute, but let me just go through and show you. Uh, this is the official tweet coming from the scale bound Twitter. It says, after careful deliberation, Microsoft Studios has come to the decision to end production for scale bound. Read more. If you do go to that article, which I kind of highlight here, it goes on to say that Microsoft and Platinum Games have parted ways. And according to Microsoft, it was a business decision. Uh, I went on to write in the article that, you know, this isn't a complete surprise because rumors have been kind of circulating the past week or so. And I shrugged them off because they were just rumors. But now that this is official, I'm looking back thinking, okay, those really did have weight to them. Those were real. This really was happening. And uh, it was just a lot of red flags, you know. For one, the public hasn't seen any new gameplay footage since August. So that was a huge red flag. And I even said in my most anticipated video when I was talking about this game that it could be a completely different game by now because I just hadn't seen anything new about it. It's just, it just wasn't really in our faces as far as new content, new footage and things like that. So it, it's a shame, you guys. I, I'm really disappointed by this because I feel like Xbox needed this game I know it has its Halo, its Gears, and its Forza all the time, but I feel like it needs new experiences to build upon, and this game could have been that. You know, we'll never know now, but I do feel like if this game would have been supported, marketed the right ways, and all of that, this could have been a big deal, you know? And I was looking forward to it, so obviously I'm disappointed by this news, and I, I still just really feel like, man, Microsoft they blew it. <laughs> they really need this game and other games too, not just this one, but they need new IPs that they support themselves. That way we can support them. I hate to compare to Sony. I really do, but I really do wish that Microsoft would take a page from Sony when they really push their new games in our faces. Games that we would otherwise not care about. For example, Gravity Rush 2. I have no interest in this game, really. I just, I, it's not really a game that I've followed at all. But I feel like I know more about that game than freaking Crackdown <laughs> or Cuphead, one that I'm actually looking forward to and actually anticipating and waiting for. It just really frustrates me how Microsoft doesn't do this, how they don't really push these new games in our faces, that we have to dig for information when they could be updating us with, with what's going on with the development process, with what's new, some new information, some new footage, something, you know? And I feel like this really hurt them with ReCore. I hardly saw anything about that game. I bought it, I played it, but no one else did. <laughs> you know what I mean? It didn't sell very well. So I just feel like Microsoft needs to do a better job when it comes to making us care about these new IPs. And unfortunately, you know, we can't even make the choice to care about this one because it's no more. It's not happening. And I said in the article, you know, there is an outside chance this game could be resurrected someday. But for right now, we're, we're not going to see this game anytime soon. It's a wrap. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this, especially if you're an Xbox One owner or if you were going to, you know, get this on PC. Were you really looking forward to this game? Are you kind of in the same boat as me where this was one of the few games that you were looking forward to on the Xbox side? Because now I'm thinking it's just Cuphead right now because I mean, I'm not interested in Halo Wars. I'm not interested in Crackdown. I don't know, man. It's like really frustrating being an Xbox One owner right now. And I know I'm going to get some people thinking that I'm just hating on Microsoft, I'm hating on Xbox, I'm a Sony pony, <laughs> as if that's an insult or whatever. There's going to be people who think that. But really, it, the truth hurts. And every time somebody tells me something like that, they just confirm it, that the truth really does hurt, you know? And 
we can't just play it off. We can't just say, well, I like Xbox, so I'm not going to get upset by these things. I'm not going to criticize them. You can't do that. We have to criticize. We have to look out for our own individual gaming needs, right? What makes us happy as gamers? And things like this don't make me happy. <laughs> so that's just me. Of course, there's, there's always going to be somebody who, you know, thinks otherwise that I'm just a hater, but I'm just flat out frustrated. Frustrated as an Xbox One owner, and this just makes it even more so. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.